Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Good morning, 47. Your target is Vincente Murillo, a fascist militia leader thought to have disappeared. A prominent figure in the 1980s war against communism, we have intel that he has returned to continue his old mission of creating a new world order in South America, starting in Colombia. Intel provided by our client tells us that he is a narcissist, a pathological liar, and very paranoid with a drinking habit. If he is to fulfill his dream of starting a fascist uprising, he could let the world know that our client has supported him back in the 80s. Our client needs their past mistakes resolved. Times have changed. So good luck, 47. Good evening, 47. Your target is Miranda Jameson, famous art appraiser and director of the Gorka Institute in Barcelona. Mrs. Jameson is one of the key drivers of the extensive price fixing that takes place in the art world. Her callous approach to the fine arts business has destroyed countless galleries and resulted in the suicides of several artists ruined by her actions. Two weeks ago, Jameson hired a gang of thieves to steal a valuable painting from a former client. Jameson aims to impress adventurer Blake Nathaniel with the stolen artwork. But the owner has discovered her involvement and hired the ICA to retire her and retrieve her personal notebook. The client wants Jameson eliminated before the artwork is revealed, so time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the Isle of Scale, 47. Miranda Jameson has been sighted on the island, but her exact whereabouts are unknown. We do know she's not carrying her notebook around with her, so look out for both. Happy hunting. Good evening, 47. Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. 
Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing, and we believe she's working with a body double in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New Zealand, 47. Your target and her double are both preparing for their undoubtedly tearful comeback speech. I suspect Dame Barbara wouldn't settle for anything less than a perfect doppelganger, so a little additional reconnaissance might be in order. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please. Make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Welcome to Sapienza 47. We have two targets for you. Congressman Anthony L. Trout, a veteran of the invasion of Grenada, and Richard J. McGee. Though at first glance these two might not seem connected, they have a long-standing collaboration manipulating Trout's political opposition. Trout sends McGee after his weak but potentially dangerous adversaries and lets McGee manipulate and ultimately break them. Trout and McGee are in Sapienza on an arcane meet-and-greet with European moneymen and power brokers ahead of a possible presidential bid in 2024. We know that Trout is staying at the Via Caruso in the town square, but McGee's business is much more clandestine, and we don't have a location for where he will be. All we know is that he is to meet a Keith Keeble, a rich young man and possibly their next victim. Time to show them the consequences of political manipulation. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Trout and McGee have arrived in Sapienza. We know Trout is at the Via Caruso, but you'll have to find out where McGee will be making contact with Mr. Keeble. Security is unusually high, especially with Caruso in residence. Do be careful, 47. Good morning, 47. Your target is the infamous serial killer known as the Censor. With a flair for the theatrical, the Censor acts as an examiner who grades his victims based on how much they struggle for their lives. The true identity of the Censor is unfortunately unknown, but the discovery of two recent victims indicates he's now exploring Whittleton Creek, Vermont, in search of prey. We only have a limited window of opportunity here, 47. Find the sensor and make sure he never grades anyone again. Best of luck. Welcome to Vermont, 47. 
The sensor should be somewhere in Whittleton Creek, looking for a potential new victim. He will likely seek out places where people are gathered, so I suggest you look for crowded areas. Good evening, 47. The target is Jimmy Chen, a cynical tabloid journalist who will literally kill for a good story. A failed actor who became an internet sensation, the target has made a name for himself in online journalism by creating fake stories and sensational headlines. When taking on a pharmaceutical conglomerate, Chen obtained evidence that the company was withholding damaging data on an antidepressant. Instead of going public, Chen sat on the material for a year until a sudden wave of suicides gave him the sales hook he needed. Our client's sister jumped in front of a train and they hold Chen accountable. We have intercepted information suggesting Jimmy Chen is currently researching a secret society for a US tabloid magazine. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the Isle of Scale, 47. The target has been spotted near the Keep Gallery, dressed as a waiter. Look for anyone who's acting out of character, and remember to collect Chen's voice recorder.